New tonight, Llama Drama. A small farm with llamas, alpacas, and even goats began with a mission to provide therapy for a loved one battling Alzheimer's and quickly found that all visitors were soothed by the animal's presence after such a challenging year. But after just a few short months in operation, the laughing llama Fallbrook is being forced to stop giving tours. Fox 5's Kasia Gagorchuk has their story and how you can help the owners hang on to their animals. I guess the greatest part of having the Alzheimer's, if there is a good part, is that it's new for her every single time that she comes down and gets to engage with them, so it kind of never gets old because it's the first time each time for her. Shauna Daly's grandmother's Alzheimer's diagnosis shook up their family's world. They moved to Fallbrook to all live on this 1.5 acre property, and soon they'd have a few new family members. I started doing a lot of research on what were good ways to help settle a person uh, going through the episodes that she has, and I came across llamas and alpacas. All right, perfect. The next decision came to launch the Laughing Llama Fallbrook to not only help their family financially, but to extend that same piece to visitors. See, very social. This is like the experience. <laughs> Small tours began in February with 16 people maximum, never more than six cars parked on Daly's property. They ran three days a week, only seven and a half hours of business operation total, but unfortunately, neighbors began to complain to the county. We were zoned agricultural and that we were uh, within legal bounds to run uh, the business out of our house. Um, so I, I guess the neighbors called to make that first complaint, but were shot down because we were zoned correctly. And so the next issue was, I guess, the animals, which we had no idea. Zoning for this part of the county only allows for one large animal per half acre, and that's including even the goats, which would take the farm from nine animals down to just three. There's not one animal here that I'd be able to choose between. Um, all of our animals are rescues. The only time Daly's family asked a neighbor what the problem was, they say they got this response. We don't need people knowing about Fallbrook, and you're inviting people in to learn about this town. So I think it's just like that old school mentality of the people that have lived here for 30, 40 years, not wanting people to discover this little piece of, you know, heaven that is over here. Even though Daly says she was careful with sharing the serenity of this community, the focus has turned to applying for a permit that will allow more animals on the property, but they cannot be used for profit. Part of this new process will also involve linking up with a youth organization. Um, so if anyone is interested in partnering with us, um, we actually do love the idea of it. It was something that we were we're wanting to do even when the business was open was to have kids out here uh, maybe that are less fortunate or maybe want to learn or educate themselves on what it's like to have something like this in their home. Kasia Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. Great story there. All right.